Hello, today I'm working on a ZooStorm clone PC, just a pretty average desktop PC. This one is caked with dust, and the customer says that it runs quite slowly sometimes. Uh, he said several times per day. It runs very slowly for about 20 minutes and then returns to normal. Also, um, a Windows update won't install, so I've got some investigative work to do, but I'm going to start by cleaning these big dust bunnies out of the the computer. It's kind of caked with dust along the, the bottom of the case here and also the, the cooling fan, the power supply, everything's just covered in dust so I'm gonna hoover it out and bring it into the back room and blow it out. I mean, that, that CPU cooler is completely caked in dust. This is not good. I think I'm going to bring my Hoover into the back room and Hoover it while I blow it out. I'll be back. Well, that made a huge difference. It was just dust. There's no corrosion or anything. It was just dust. So a bit of Hoovering, some blowing, a little bit of gentle blowing, and this thing just really just filled the room with dust. I think I'm going to tip it up and get it out of the way so that I can turn it on and have a go, see what's going on. I'm not going to plug in the Ethernet right away until I know what's happening with this computer. It might be infected with something or I just I don't know at this point. I can tell already this thing would benefit from a solid state drive. So we're waiting for the disk, 100% usage, and the CPU. We've got four, four cores, eight threads. Nice. Yeah, we're waiting for the disk. Oh, what is it? Uh, I suppose it's going to be an enormous disk, isn't it? Two terabytes. Mm. Let's see what kind of space we have. Ah, but it's... Right, well... It's not too full. Right, so now let's use it and see what's going on, what makes it slow every 20 minutes or so. He did say... I tried to get him to pin down a time when it happened. Um, he suggested around 9 a.m. So we'll see if there's any events that happen around 9 a.m. Well, it's not bad. I mean, the, com the disk is caught up. And now the computer's completely idle. So, I'm going to have to switch my view from my four camera split to just video capture so I can read the screen. Loads of disk errors. Oh, okay. We have a bad, we have a dying hard drive. So yesterday around nine, <coughs> decom is fine. So disk bad block. So we've got a bad disk or a disk failing. I'm gonna scan this disk for errors. I'm tempted to make a backup of this disk before I do anything. So I'm gonna pop this hard drive out and make a backup and possibly clone it onto a one terabyte. SSD, because I think this disk is uh, dying. Let's wait for it to shut down. All right. Now I've got screws in both sides, so I need to take these back off. Okay, there's the hard drive out. Western Digital 2 terabyte. It was made in 2016, so it's five years old, 14th of June. 400 RPM. Wouldn't have been a terribly fast drive, but it's quite big. Okay, so I was unable to image the disk. Uh, it stopped at 6%. 
and sat there for 45 minutes before I gave up. Uh, so the disc is having some sort of issue. It's not clicking and, cl you know, it's not a severely damaged disc, but there are problems with the disc. So um, I've got it back in the tower and because we can boot off of that. So I might try Partition Wizard to see if I can image it in place onto an SSD. I've added an SSD in here as well for now, a one terabyte Samsung. Um, I'm not sure what else I can do. So we'll see. We'll see what we can get away with here. I might have to have Windows do a scan disk and fix any sort of issues because if there are bad sectors developing on this disk, Windows is going to need to be the thing to manage it. So let's see if we can do that. <clears throat> So I can see exactly what the customer is complaining about. Occasionally the computer just hangs up and it's waiting for the disk. It's still waiting 100% of the time waiting for the disk. Um, I don't think Partition Wizard is going to be able to cope with this. about 551 megabytes. I'll say 555. And then I want to slide this down to here. Oh, I can't do that with advanced or without with the free version. So I was able to clone the drive, the original hard drive, I had to run check disk on it. Uh, I told it to initiate check disk after a reboot so it would do dismount the drive and do a full repair. And that seems to have allowed me to clone the disk onto an SSD. The disk cloning process finished properly. So I've taken the hard drive out and I'm trying to boot off of the SSD and Windows won't boot. Windows, it turned on and Windows tried to boot three times quickly and then just blue screened. So now I've booted off of my installation media and told it that I would like to repair. And so now it's going through the startup repair, which says it's found some disk error. So this might be a good sign. Um, I've seen this fail just as many times as I've seen it succeed, but uh, we'll find out here shortly. So we've got the Windows spinner and then a reset, so it's not gonna work. It's doing the same thing it was doing earlier. You know, I don't have a lot of faith in those Windows automatic repair tools, but sometimes they come through. Oh, I'm so happy. This just saved me hours of work, uh, reinstalling Windows and all of the, the software that comes with this computer. So this is it. This is a, a resounding success story. We took a, a failing hard drive that initially couldn't be cloned and ran check disk. That check disk process took hours. I mean, it was stuck at 10% for at least an hour before I went home. I came in this morning and it had finished. I don't know how long it took, but after that I was able to boot into Partition Wizard and clone the disk onto a new SSD, almost boot into that, use the Windows Repair on the Windows 10 installation media, and here we are. We have a working Windows installation, an exact clone of the original. Not an exact clone because it's a two terabyte hard drive cloning down to a one terabyte SSD. So all of the tools that I have actually worked quite well. So this customer is going to be very pleased because they'll get their computer back today rather than some nebulous, you know, maybe Saturday estimate that I originally gave them. So, yep. Yeah. So I'm very happy. Thanks for watching.